Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we tried to visualize some threads using this visualize uh, thread program we made, which used Turtle. Um, but as we could see, it wasn't actually ever creating anything at the same time. You sort of had one thread working on one shape, and then another thread working on another shape, and sometimes it would come back and finish it like this. Um, the code to this will be in the description. And I'm going to show you what we're going to create today using Pygame. Um, which works a bit differently from Turtle, as I explained in the last video. If you haven't watched that, basically, Pygame, you've got two buffers, uh, the code works on the last buffer, and everything gets copied across to the uh, screen at once, whereas with Turtle, we're writing directly onto the screen. Uh, I'm not sure why this is open, so let's close that. Um, and this is what we're going to be building. Uh, so here's the Pygame test version. And you can see here, if you look closely, you know, the lines are still being drawn one at a time, but it's just happening all over the place. Uh, so all the threads are doing that in the background, and then it's being copied to the screen. Uh, let's try and see that again. So yeah, that's what we're going to be building today. So let's go. Okay, so let's begin by actually removing this file, and then uh, creating it again, basically. So we'll call it pygame.test, but it's going to be empty. We're going to open that with VS Code. Go away, please. Uh, so let's start. This is going to, in many ways, going to look quite similar to the last bit of code we did. Um, I'm just going to copy some cross stuff across. So initialize the game, initialize the window, and yeah, just create the display basically. Name the display. Uh, we're going to define some colors. Don't want that actually. So these are the colors that are being used to draw the shapes. Next thing we want to do is actually grab our draw function, which I'll talk through. So we're just choosing a random color from our colors, uh, and we're choosing a random size. Now this size refers to any one length um, of, of the lines, I think. So if you're drawing a square, it's the length of one of the lines. Um, yeah, then we're going to grab a random shape to draw, circle, uh, or square, or triangle. Pretty simple. and that's really it, so we're going to draw the lines, and because I, wa I wanted it to not just like pop up with the new shapes, but I wanted to draw the lines, so that's what we're doing here, and then we're updating the display. Um, you can actually make this slower if you want to visualize a bit more what's happening, uh, so I might actually leave that at one second, uh, rather than 0.5 seconds, which is what I had, and then we can actually see probably even better what's going on. Uh, so this looks, you'll be familiar with this, because I don't think I changed this much actually. Um, if at all, yeah, I don't think I changed this at all actually from the previous video. So we've got our, this is the thread, this is the function basically attached to the thread, and each thread is just going to run continuously drawing a new shape. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. And then this is how long each thread is sleeping uh, before drawing another shape. Uh, that's not too important. Um, again, this is actually referring to the thread itself. So if you, if you made this to like 10 seconds and you've got 10 threads that are happening quite quickly, nothing might happen for 10 seconds if they all run pretty much at the same time. Uh, so hopefully that made sense. We're going to make 10 threads here. This I changed this for a little bit. And we're creating 10 threads uh, to draw our shapes. Pretty simple. And then we need our main loop, which is a bit different to how Turtle works. But we're basically going to have a while true loop um, in Pygame, uh, which is going to keep updating indefinitely. Uh, which and I'm guessing this is where it update. This is where it copies from the previous buffer to the main screen, um, which is why it works a little bit different to Turtle, where we're just drawing directly to the screen. Um, but yeah, so it's just waiting for a quit event. If it quits, um, we quit. Otherwise, we just continue to update. So that's it, really. Uh, so I've changed it to the only real change we did from uh, the code that I just showed you is the delay um, between drawing the shapes. Um, so let's go in here python pygame.test and this time it's a bit slower not much slower but a bit slower we can probably make this even slower let's make this two seconds and then you can see if we are uh, so that's how often we're updating. If we, if we did it to like 0 0.1 seconds, you'd see it's really, really rapid. Uh, 
like that, and it fills up really quickly. See if that are one. And then this is referring to the actual threads themselves, so if, if we put this at a high number, uh, we still get something initially, but then after that they're going to sleep. So these are the things that we created. Now these threads are pretty much asleep. We'll probably get one change in a few seconds. There you go. But yeah, so you don't really want that to be a large value. 